guys welcome back to let's keep it real i want to give a shout out to all of my new subscribers thank you for subscribing we're over here we are going to report the latest in celeb news and gossip baby uh but before we get started um for those who have not like comment and subscribe please do so um because i do see it's a lot of people that ain't subscribed that definitely be watching my videos so baby go on over there hit that subscribe button honey because you're not gonna never be disappointed over here because i'm gonna bring it each and every motherfucking time but uh, anyway keep in mind guys that everything that we discuss is allegedly these are simply our thoughts and opinions this is commentary baby and it is strictly used for entertainment purposes so child honey the news is out erica Mena will not be returning to love and hip hop on the next season, it says it. I'm let y'all read the rest of it, but I'm going to read the last sentence. Effectively, immediately, she will not appear in the next season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So, you know, guys, I'm glad that Love and Hip Hop has decided not to bring her back. And a lot of people are mad because they like, okay, so y'all knew about this uh, episode and everything before y'all aired it, but, you know, y'all still aired it and everything. Well, you know, they're going to make their money. Mona Scott, that's one thing she's about. There's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. She gonna she gonna get that motherfucking bag, okay? She gonna get that bag. But I can we can all we can look at it different ways. One way we can look at it, Mona Scott. Okay, you know what? I've been sick of this hoe for a minute now. I'm gonna get this bag off of her. But at the same time, I'm gonna let the world know who the fuck she really is. And then we gonna figure out a way to get her bitch ass up out of here without a lawsuit. And that could be how Mona Scott played it. I don't know allegedly, but like they said, she's done. We all know how Erica really feels about you know the black community you know what i'm saying you know so she's gone now that's the moral of, of the goddamn story and you know different people had a lot of different things to say about it some people what got me was that some people were look just like us look just like us same skin color and everything and they was defending her fucking behavior which which baffled me i'm like how the fuck you gonna defend her behavior talking about well you know they knew about it and they still put it out she's gone now okay you know um you know of course we all know when somebody when you recording episodes and stuff yeah they can cut it out and this and that but like i said who knows mona scott allegedly could have did that like okay we're gonna expose this bitch and gonna get rid of her bitch ass and she's gone now but i'm gonna uh let y'all listen to some of these motherfucking remarks that motherfuckers got to say how I feel about Erica getting fired, I don't know if that's real. I know I seen it on the Love and Hip Hop page, so somebody sent that to me, but I think everybody was like, I don't know, I ain't heard of that. I was just like, hey, I don't know. I mean, I think that's pretty bozo for them to fire somebody after they set you up. They set you up and put you, they get you all hyped up, have somebody talk to you, you know what I'm saying, and then you react, and then they want to fire you, you feel what I'm saying? And I don't even fuck with y'all, I don't fuck with her at all, like, at all, you know what I'm saying? But you know, like if you put you put me in the position, cuz like nigga talking about my kids and all that, nigga fight. Man, he throwing no table. He throwing the table. Fight the hand. They they can fire me. They know that. They know they can. I'ma still do me. I was doing me before. I'm doing me after. But it just I don't see how they can do that. How they can fire somebody after y'all started. <laughs> you feel me? You started it. Yeah, I wouldn't even been in front of this because if you didn't put me in front of this. And you knew we had beef. You knew I ain't like this. So why you put me around this? The thing is, they put people that play with people that don't play. And you know what I'm saying? When you start playing, cause like nigga like me ain't finna, I ain't finna hold it. If had the shit that was done to me was a man doing that to me, I'm gonna beat the fuck out one of them. So first of all. Scrappy talking about you know it, it's a, it's set up and this and that. Well, okay, it, it, it's a it's a drama filled show. Okay, so we expect shit to pop out. We expect that. But what Erica said out of her mouth, you could feel it, baby. You could feel it through the motherfucking screen. You could see the anger in her body. I mean, the the hate was just spewing from her. Okay, and when she called Spice that racial slur, baby, I felt the hate. Okay, so I don't give a fuck if it was drama, if it was triggered. None of that. Bi that bitch didn't have to say it. It. I'm glad that it came out because I liked Erica and I. And after seeing this fucking bullshit, fuck that hoe. Let her get her money the best way she can.
weekend. I heard that she was going to try to go over to Zeus or whatever. But fuck that hoe. I, I ain't got no love for her no more. Fuck her. Because you, she's a dirty bitch. And that's how she's always felt about black people. It just came out. And Mona Scott and them got it. And, and uh, like they said, they could have cut it. They didn't have to put it on her. They sure could have. But guess what? If they had to just try to fire her, she would have fucking sued them. So I allegedly, Mona Scott, she avoided a lawsuit and everything. Okay? Allegedly. But uh, as for Scrappy, he need to sit his stupid motherfucking ass on down and shut the fuck up and, and worry about taking care of your four kids. Well, the oldest one, she's in college now or whatever. But worry about taking care of your little three little ones because you ain't you ain't got no room to be running your motherfucking mouth. Shut your goddamn mouth and keep your mouth shut and you just sit back and get them motherfucking checks from Love and Hip Hop or your ass be gone too, okay? But um, let me let you, but then, and then let, move, let's move on to Agba. Y'all heard Agba, she's so ignorant, y'all. She's so ignorant. Talking about how, how people use the term, uh, use the term monkey when they talk. And who, who does that? I don't know nobody that does. She's so ignorant, y'all, child. Hello, it me asking the real question. Because, you know, I ain't trying to get counsel. So when us black people be like, this hoe so monkey, man. This monkey ass hoe. I always got some shit going. Woo-woo. Do we get counsel for saying that? I'm just really asking, cool. Is it cool for black people to say it? Oh, Lord. Child, y'all, you know what she trying to do. She trying to insert herself somewhere so people can be like, oh, yeah, I bought, girl, you is not relevant. Ain't nobody checking for you. Ain't nobody thinking about you. Ain't nobody looking for you, Okay. Just go on and do what you been doing because we ain't checking for you and we ain't thinking about you, y'all. But like I said, anyway, you know, it's like I said, the discussions is out there. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are about all of this, you know, uh, about Erica being fired from Love & Hip Hop. And uh, Scrappy, he, you know, he got some shit to say. And then, of course, Agba got some shit to say. But all in all, the shit should have never been condoned. And I don't know why Akbar taking up four, it seems like, allegedly. And then Scrappy is taking up four, it seems like, allegedly. You know, it, I'm just like, okay, really? 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 I mean, this is this don't make no goddamn sense. Erica, you know, she obviously has strong feelings toward the black community that are not positive. And uh, she should have been gone a long time ago. And, and, and now we, and I'm hearing that she's always felt like this. And now we got to see it for our own selves. And, uh... She's gone. Simply put, what the fuck is the motherfucking problem? If she should have kept her motherfucking mouth shut and she wouldn't be here today. That's a fucking problem now. She always running off at that mouth and, and was never consequences. Well, bitch, today it was consequences. Y'all, it's been real. And I will definitely be back soon with another another video. Make sure you get a membership and uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Let's Keep It Real if you have not done so. And I'll see you all soon with another video.